A, B, C, E, easy as one, two, three, as simple as do, re, mi, A, B, C, one, two, three, baby, you and me, girl. So we're going to be covering Michael Jackson's song, A, B, C, in this, not actually, we're going to be covering activity-based costing systems in this tutorial, otherwise known as A, B, C systems. And if you're not sure what A, B, C systems are, it's a form of splitting overhead costs into different overhead activities. The costs are then allocated to products or projects proportionally by their cost driver activity level. So a lot to take in there, a lot. Perhaps you remember the predetermined overhead rate that we went over, uh, total budgeted overhead costs divided by the cost driver allocation base gave us the rate. And if you forget the allocation base was just something like direct labor hours, or machining hours or direct material cost and then we had a rate and we use that rate to apply overhead for a certain job and that worked exceptionally well if we had a bunch of identical products that use the same amount of overhead but the thing is what if we have product lines that use a different amount of overhead for instance let's say our total overhead costs are engineering costs so we have $100,000 of engineering costs and we have two products. The first product line is a laptop, the second is a desktop. Now, if this desktop product line uses more of the engineering overhead cost or department, shouldn't we allocate more of the $100,000 toward this product line? Yeah, of course. So that's actually what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be allocating the overhead costs proportionally based on their cost driver activity levels. And before that, we're actually gonna split the overhead costs into over or separate overhead activities, which you'll see. And it's really simple uh, the way I'll explain it. Hopefully you'll understand it. So I'm gonna get rid of these and I'm gonna bring up this overhead layer. So we have this total amount of overhead. Let's say it is, let's say it's $100,000 of overhead. So we're going to split the overhead costs into different overhead activities. So I'm going to split them into three different activities and the activities I came up with are materials handling, engineering costs, and power costs. So the $100,000, let's say that $20,000 of cost is materials handling, $20,000 is engineering costs, and $60,000 our power costs. So essentially, we've taken the overhead amount and we've split 60,000 to power, 20,000 to engineering, and the remaining goes to materials handling. Of course, that circle was not to scale uh, because 60,000 is greater than half of $100,000. Uh, but yeah, we split the overhead or the total overhead costs into three overhead activities. The second part is we need to come up with the, or essentially like a predetermined overhead rate for each of these. So we need an allocation base. So we're going to use the cost driver activity levels. So I actually have some givens. So you'll normally be given these on the test. So direct materials, dollars used, 200,000 for all of our products and product lines, engineering hours used 400, kilowatt hours used 300,000. And as you can see, they're relevant for each one of these overhead activities. So we're gonna use uh, each of these for their respective, their respective overhead activities. So for instance, uh, the first one, direct material dollars, we're gonna use that for materials handling since that is relevant. So we're going to divide that by 200,000 and we'll have 10 cents of materials handling costs for every direct material dollar used. Uh, for engineering, we'll divide it by 400 hours to give us $50 of engineering cost for every engineering hour used. The power cost will be divided by kilowatt hours used and we'll get 20 cents of power cost for every kilowatt hour used. So that was the second part. The first was just splitting the overhead into different overhead activities. The second step 
was to come up with the rates. Make sure you remember these steps or write it down. And the third step is applying the overhead based on the rates. So I've come up with this example where I have three different product lines, a tablet, a laptop, and a desktop product line. And I don't have to go over the direct materials or the direct labor used because of course we know exactly how much goes into each product. Those costs are traceable. The overhead isn't. And activity-based costing only applies to overhead costs, which is why we're just going to be covering the overhead portion. So the first one we'll be covering is we'll be applying how much materials handling cost goes into the tablet. So uh, direct materials used was 75,000 of the 200,000 up here. So we're going to take that amount of activity and multiply that by the rate 0 0.1 and that will give us $7,500 of the materials handling cost, which is of the total $20,000, will be applied to the tablet product line. For the laptop, we'll use the same rate, and you'll see that $5,000 was applied for the laptop product line out of $20,000, and you can calculate the last, the last column for the desktop product line. Uh, the second overhead activity was engineering hours used and we have 150 hours used for the tablet, so we're gonna multiply that by the rate of $50 an hour, and that will give us a total amount of, let me just break open my calculator, 50 times 150, 7,500, it's the same as the last one, so 7,500 of the $20,000 cost of the engineering overhead total costs will be allocated to the tablet product line. Uh, for the laptop product line, it'll be 5,000. And then of course you can calculate the desktop. Last but not least, the, the power section. So kilowatt hours used 125,000. Uh, you can't see it right now, but it's actually 20 cents for every kilowatt hour used. So I'm going to use my calculator, handy calculator, and find out what that is. So that's $25,000 of the 60,000 will be allocated to the tablet department. And for the laptop, it will be, that should be $10,000. I always like to double check everything even though I kind of, no, that's already the answer. Uh, so yeah, $10,000 of overhead costs. And as you can see, if we were to add up all the overhead costs for direct materials used would be 7,500. 7,500 is 15,000 plus 25,000. So total overhead costs, all of these added up for the tablet product line would be 40,000 dollars and for the the laptop product line we would have we would have what is that that's twenty thousand dollars so you can only guess as to what the total desktop will be it'll actually be the remaining forty thousand dollars that's how you know uh, you did all the calculations correct so essentially ABC costing or not ABC costing ABC systems allocates costs better in a proportional or on a proportion based on how much each product department or project uses for each of the overhead amounts. So it provides a really fair way of allocating overhead based on the amount of overhead used. So hopefully you understood that tutorial. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions regarding accounting or any other material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate, you can like us on Facebook to receive updates, or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.